Hi there, Natalie May here. Today I'll be sharing my project created for the blog hop between Lindy Stamp Gang and Stencil Girl. I'm a huge fan of Stencil Girl products and have been part of their stencil club for quite a few years. I wanted to create a little mini book just showcasing some of my favourite colours with Lindy's and some of my favourite stencils from Stencil Girl. I started by using some of the new Dilutions and Dina Wakely washi tape using gel medium to stick them down to some scrap pieces of paper. I also had left some class samples from using Magicals on watercolour paper. I have a little stash of these put aside that I find really handy. Next thing I did was cut some pages for my mini album. I used some random papers and some cardstock, used gesso and stencils to create some texture. I love to use 13 Arts acrylic primer. It's really, really thick. It holds its shape really well through a stencil. Speaking of stencils, I use Stencil Girl, Seth Aptor Designs Unfinished, Make It Count. I used the Deconstructed Double Zinnia Mask designed by Tracy Batista. I used the Ripples 6x6 designed by Susie Dennis. And also the Tiger Lily stencil by Celia Swatton. Okay, let's talk Lindy's. I wanted something really bright and punchy. So I have here Luminous Lemon, Freaky Frankenlime, Hydrangea Blue, Urban Amethyst, Hibiscus Rose, and Hagwarts Orange. I love that I can use these as a spray or a paint. So I've chosen to tip them all into my little palettes and use them with, as, with a paintbrush because it just makes it so much easier to control the color that's going on. Each page is different. I added some stamping to the background first, then started using a paintbrush and some water spray to apply my color, drying in between coats. Be sure not to muddy up your colors. Think about the colors that you're putting down so that they're going to work together and not create brown. Because I'm working on a gessoed background, I do layer the colors up because they do dry a little bit lighter. I love the way that the color just pulls in around those stencil patterns. Next I wanted to create a little bit of a, a, an insert for my tags to sit on. So I used Urban Amethyst and Hydrangea Blue over a slightly glossy paper using the Zinnia stencil. Look at that shimmer, it is so, so pretty. Next thing I did was cut out some circles from those washi tape sheets, stuck them onto my page. I did add a little bit of Neo Colour and intensified it using Lindy's um, just to give a little, little bit more texture and I love that it kind of pulled around it. To be perfectly honest, didn't really need the Neo Colour. So I'm just going to flick through a couple of pages here and show you some of the colour combinations. You can certainly see where the washi tape circles grab the colour. I've created some lovely shadowing and depths in and around each of the circles and created some fantastic pattern. On this page, I've used the Zinnia mask as a stamp and flipped it over and created a great pattern. All of these colours here just work in really, really well together. You can see where I've added some tissue paper in the background and some more stamping. All of this beautiful texture just grabs the colour beautifully. So to finish the pages, they had to have a bit of a frame around them. So I used the Blazing Black Lindy Spray and I used the, uh, the nozzle to scrape the sides just to give it that beautiful soft edge. For the cover I wanted to create something in fabric so I sewed a couple of squares of calico together and used again my favourite little zinnia mask and some gesso to create a beautiful pattern. Once I've done that, once it's dried, I used a whole combination of colours and gave it a really good spray. For the inside I used the unfinished stencil and gave that a good coat as well. Last thing I wanted to do was create a bit of a, a belly band to wrap around my book to hold it together. So I sprayed some calico using those same six set of colours, stamped over the top, cut them into strips and then gave them a, a bit of a run through the sewing machine so that they created a beautiful little band. Really, really love the finish. So that's my little mini book. Um, here are a close up of a few of the pages. You can see where I've added some, added some depth with a Stabilo pencil and a black Sharpie in around the edge of each circle. I've added some Tim Holtz little tiny text stickers in and around the pages for some quick quotes. 
and added some more splatters for some dimension of colour. I really, really love how this is finished off. And you can also see how important it was to add that black frame around the edge of each page. It finishes each page off nicely, creates a great frame. So you can see how this is a really fun way of using up some of your scraps, using up some of that washi tape that we tend to hoard a little bit at home, use some stencils in your stash. The Stencil Girl stencils are perfect for this project, really, really love them. Um, use modelling paste or texture paste instead of gesso, add in some tags, some strips of fabric, you are only limited by your imagination. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you're having a fantastic day and chat soon. Bye.